A question that a lot of students have been asking us is what is the difference between applied AI course and applied AI project? In this video, we thought we'll outline the key differences between both these, both these courses that we have. First, let's understand what is the expected outcome if you take the applied AI course. The applied AI course is the final outcome is to get a machine learning job. At the end of this course, you have all the tools at your disposal to get a machine learning job. Okay, at companies, at product based companies, as well as services companies. So some examples of product based companies will be companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Oracle, Cisco, etc. Right. So if, you, if your objective or if the outcome that you're expecting is to get a machine learning job in product based companies or services companies, examples of services companies will be Infosys, uh, Cognizant, uh, TCS, etc. So if your final goal is to get a machine learning job at the end of this course, then you're recommended to take the applied AI course because th that's how this course has been designed. For services companies, the content in this course is quite, is quite extensive and exhaustive and the audience for this course. So this course is built for working professionals as well as students. So if you're a working professional working as a software development engineer who wants to move into a machine learning role, then this course is ideally suited for you. Or if you're a student in your third year or final year of undergrad or first year or second year of masters who want to pursue a machine learning job at the end of your three or at the end of your undergraduate or graduate studies, then this course, the applied AI course is most suitable for you. Whereas the applied AI project, the expected outcome, the expected outcome is to do your final year BTEC, MTEC or MS project in AI. So the outcome here is the primary outcome here is not to get a machine learning job. The primary outcome here is to do your final year project, uh, either BTEC, MTEC or MS using AI. That's why in the name itself, we, we said we called it AI project. Okay. Of course, at the end of this, you could get machine learning jobs in services companies because at the end of the day, you learn a lot of machine learning even in the applied AI project. Okay. But not as much as what you would learn in the AI course. And uh, in, in applied AI project, we take one problem, we take one problem and solve it end to end. Because typically in your bachelor's or your master's program, in the final year project, you take one problem as your project problem and you solve this problem end to end, right? And hence in AI project, you solve one problem end to end. And the audience for this are BTEC, MTEC and MS students. I, I believe there is also a master of computer applications in some parts of the world like India. So those students who are pursuing their bachelor's or master's degrees in computer science or related fields, uh, this uh, doing an AI project will be very, very ideal for them. Where again, remember, please let's not forget the outcome here. The outcome here is to perform your final year project in AI. While the outcome here is to land a machine learning job. So let's go and understand other differences. So from the content, uh, from a content perspective itself, the AI course has Python, exploratory data analysis, probability statistics, linear algebra optimization, and 25 plus machine learning techniques covering a wide spectrum of areas from classification, regression, clustering, matrix factorization, deep learning, natural language processing, etc. Okay. There are also some computer vision algorithms here that we'll learn as part of deep learning. So the 25 machine learning techniques that you learn as part of AI course are fairly extensive. So, I mean, they cover, they cover 25 of the most 25 plus of the most used techniques in industry. While in AI project, you have Python, of course, you have all the exploratory data analysis, you have probability statistics, linear algebra, and you learn about 10 to 12 relevant techniques for your project. If you see our website, there, there, are, there are about 10 projects right now on our website. So let's assume you pick a project, you can pick any one of the 10 projects. All the techniques that are relevant to solve that project, you learn. And you learn about 10 to 12 techniques depending on what the problem is. For some problems, you learn matrix factorization some prob in detail. For some problems, you learn clustering in detail. For some problems, you learn classification and regression in more detail. So a project is, 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 is like a subset, if you want to call it. It's basically a subset of the larger AI course, where the objective here is to, is to do your final year project using AI. And in terms of content itself, we have about 140 plus hours of content here for AI course, the content here is about 70 plus hours, roughly, roughly about 70 hours, right? So there is roughly uh, 
uh, of course, because we're also covering only roughly half the techniques that we cover in AI course. That doesn't mean AI project is not important. Let me be very, very clear there. AI project is super useful if your objective, again, if your outcome or the objective is to do your final year project in AI. If that's your outcome or that's the goal that you're trying, then AI project is the right course for you. Let me also explain you the case studies that we saw. In AI course, we saw 10 case studies preparing you for industry jobs. And all of these 10 case studies, we saw them end to end, including from exploratory data analysis up to multiple production ready models. We train, we never solve a problem using a single model or a single algorithm. We solve it using multiple models and most of them, at least the more advanced models will be production ready. So by understanding these 10 case studies, you are much more well prepared for industry jobs. While in a project, in a project itself, the case study, we solve one case study. Because in a BTEC, MTEC or an MS project, we typically have to take up one problem and solve it end to end, right? That's why we picked up one case, to, case study here. And this case study is solved thoroughly, end to end from exploratory data analysis up to multiple production ready models. So we train multiple models here, uh, uh, multiple models in increasing order of complexity. And we solve all of them. But here the fundamental difference is we solve one case study here while we solve 10 here. So there is a difference, certainly. And now let's go to the pricing because uh, for a lot of students, pricing is an important parameter. So uh, for AI course, we give you one account, which means you get one login and the cost of the cost of the AI course is 25,000 rupees plus GST. GST for education services in India or the, uh, is, is about 18%. It's, GST stands for uh, goods and services tax, which is a new tax that India has implemented uh, for uh, as a method of collecting tax much more smoothly. Okay, and the validity of the course itself is one year. Okay, so all of this GST goes to the government of India and the state governments. Um, well, for AI project itself, we have uh, we have three cases. If you are a single user who wants to use this, the price for this is fifteen thousand plus the tax plus the GST tax, right? So uh, typically, something that we have heard from a lot of our students is, if you're an MS student or an MTech student, it's typically one it's typically one student who would do one project. For such students, this is an ideal choice, right? Because you would do your project on your own, and the cost is also is is, is also significantly lower than twenty five thousand. Okay. So for undergraduate students, we when we talk to a lot of students, they said we typically work in groups of two students or three students. So if you're a group of two students, uh, the, the, the pricing is 18,000 plus GST. If it's a group of three students, it's 21,000 plus GST. Now, what does three users, how does this three user account differ from one user account? So if you take a three user, three user account, you get actually three user accounts. You literally get three accounts, three distinct accounts. And all these three accounts can access the content simultaneously. Okay, and the validity for the AA project is six months and the reason we put it at six months is because most students in their masters or bachelor's programs typically perform or typically do this project in the last six months in the last six months or in the last semester right and hence we picked up the validity and we, and hence we chose the validity of this course to be six months okay uh, the next difference is in terms of portfolio so at the end of your ai course of course you you go through 10 case studies Right, as I mentioned here, uh, as I mentioned here, you learn about 10 case studies, but the important thing is you solve five problems on your own. Of course, if you are stuck anywhere, we'll surely help you. We help you build a portfolio of your own where you can showcase, where you can showcase, where you can showcase your skills. And we help you build, we help you solve five problems in addition to the 10 problems that we helped you, that, that we showed you how to solve, right? These five case studies will be extremely useful for you when you're building your portfolio and portfolio is extremely useful to showcase your skills to companies when you go there for hiring okay for a project since anyway you're solving one problem you will get a portfolio with one case study okay so these are the primary differences between the a project and the a uh, and the a course uh, just to recap if you're looking the most important and fundamental difference here is if you want to land a machine learning job a course is the right course to take if you're looking to do your final year project in BTEC, MTEC or MS, then the uh, then the AA project is the right course for you. If you have any questions, if you have any questions about uh, which one to choose, please shoot an email to us at 
team at appliedaicourse.com team at appliedaicourse.com or or give us a ring if you go to our website which is appliedaicourse.com uh, you get a you get a toll free number at the top left corner please call that number and we'll try and answer any questions you have if you're if you if you're if you're stuck making a choice between the AA course and the AA project